Hello student, welcome to the one more session of uh, ARM. This is Vasan Naik from Kendra Engineering College. In this uh, session, you will be going to study the various operating modes of ARM. As I told in my previous video, ARM operates totally on seven different types of modes. Uh, that is, one is SVR, that is supervisor, user, system mode, IRQ mode, FIQ mode, abort mode and undefined mode. So in this video I will explain you what are this, uh, the, I will explain you about different operating modes of uh, SVR. So you know student the ARM7 processor on reset, on reset of ARM7 processor it goes through supervisor mode after that during the 90 percent of the lifetime the processor will be in the user mode the processor will be in the user mode so let's first see what is supervisor mode for that so you know like in a computer memory like this suppose this is the memory this memory contains both data and program so if i write or if i tell like this is a system data system data and system program and here we have one more section this is user data and user program user data can access user program can access user data system program can access system data in other way system program can access uh, user program and user data but user program cannot access system program and system data this is a type of a protection mechanism uh, which was implemented long back by Intel so system program and system data are protected by supervisor supervisor and user data and user program run by user so in the diagram here one resetting of your ARM7 processor it will go into supervisor mode why it will go into supervisor mode means sir, on resetting of your computer system we, we know it will load operating system it will first run basic input output system part of that basic input output system it will load operating system from secondary memory into the primary memory then operating system will get initialized it will load device drivers other things and it will arrange icons after that you will get the control like home screen so till there your mobile or arm processor will be in supervisor mode from that board it will now it will move it to user mode and it will remain and most of the time 90 percent of the time in user mode only so supervisor mode has got high privilege and user mode is a normal mode so suppose you imagine you want to execute some system call that time you uh, your uh, your arm processor will move from user mode into system mode to move from user mode into system mode you don't need any interrupter system mode is a privileged version of user mode where you can execute system call for example for example, you are going to rearrange icons, icons on your mobile. So rearrange icons is somewhat, somewhat a function of system function rather than it is not a low level function, but it is a system function. So which need some type of privilege, not supervisor privilege. So to execute that thing, uh, your processor will move from user mode to system mode. It will do the necessary task and it will come back to the user mode. Now we have two types of interrupt mode are here. Based on the interrupt, we have two more two modes are there. One is a IRQ normal interrupt, other one is a fast interrupt. 
if the uh, if, if 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 you receive normal interrupt request call then from the user mode the processor will go to interrupt request mode and it will come back it will service the isr routine and it will come back if it receives a fast interrupt request it will go to fast interrupt request mode fast interrupt mode and it will execute the isr and it will return to the user mode we know the difference between uh, what is irq and what is fiq irq is a normal interrupt fiq is a fast interrupt because fiq makes use of a separate set of registers uh, registers uh, uh, then irq so in the case of irq when it goes to i uh, uh, like uh, irq mode or when irq interrupt is received then uh, when it goes to irq mode then isr has to store the content of the registers in memory or stack uh, stack before changing the register value before changing the register value in isr mode so same thing is not applicable or f1 here in uh, fast interrupt request mode because fast interrupt request has got its own uh, five registers so that will be used so fast interrupt request is faster than uh, irq now we have two error mode one is called as abort other one is called as undefined now what is the what do you mean by abort and what do you mean by undefined so before explaining abort and uh, undefined mode like uh, error mode let me explain like suppose you want to install uh, certain app on your mobile phone so actually installing means uh, you are not going to install the app you are just uh, going to select the app from the app store and hit the install button installing is the different process installing requires going to the root of the operating system and make the changes that part is not done by the user that part is done by the supervisor so to install app so you from user mode you need to your phone need to go to supervisor mode by calling software interrupt and it will do the installation and once the installation is over from the supervisor mode it will return to the user mode next we will move to the next mode that is abort mode what is abort mode so as i explained in the memory which contains system data and system program and system data user data and user program you have user data and user program suppose you are trying to access system program or system data then what will happen so when you as a user without having the privilege to access the system data and system program if you access the system if you make a call to the system program or system data that timer it results in the abort mode this results in abort mode that means application will be killed and you will be taken into user mode so there are two type of abort mode pre patch and data what do you mean by pre pre patch and data what do you mean by pre patch and data that is suppose you are going to access a system program so which you are don't have, which you don't have the privilege to access then accessing system program means accessing pre patch uh, patching the instruction patching since it is a pipeline you are patching the instruction in advance so this is called as a pre patch abort and if you are going to access system data then it is called as data abort so the meaning of pre patch abort is you are going to access system program and the meaning of data abort is you are going to access the system data for which you don't have the permission or the privilege the next one is uh, undefined mode so here you uh, don't have the privilege to access the particular function that time it goes to abort mode here the processor doesn't does not understand the instruction that time it goes to undefined mode for example there inside the mobile phone there will be different processor like uh, main processor co processor uh, math, uh, math co processor uh, graphic processor etc so the person who wrote the code by imagining there will be the there will be a math co processor and assembler as assembled the instruction but in reality think like there won't be a math co processor that time how arm 7 can understand the math co processor instruction that time it automatically it will go to undefined uh, mode and it will go to it will kill the application it will go to undefined mode undefined mode and from the undefined mode it will go to the user mode 
so these are the different type of uh, seven different type of operating mode so let me repeat initially you uh, want reset your uh, arm processor will be in a supervisor mode after booting it will go to the user mode so if you call system function it, it will take you to the system mode if you if you have interrupt like uh, getting call sms all these are just like uh, or tapping on the phone it is just like interrupt so if you have normal interrupt it will take you to irq mode if you have fast interrupt it will take you into fiq mode if you if you have uh, then if you, if you try to access uh, system data then it will go to abort mode in abort we have pre patch and data otherwise it will it, uh, sometimes it may go to undefined mode so with this uh, i have covered seven different operating modes of a arm thank you